Hello and welcome. This is Rachel from the Dotting Center. This video is part two of three for this Lotus Dot Mandala painting tutorial. In the first video, I covered all the tools needed to create this painting for yourself. I covered the difference between Deco Art Liquid and Premium Paints and how the application methods and level of dot puff are different between the two. We also used the Lotus stencil as our base and we got right about this far in the video. So in this video, we're going to add on to the base design and start getting into more complex shapes and patterns and we're going to start adding more puff. So we have a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. Oh yeah, so before we get started, you all asked so very nicely for a printable pattern for this design, and so I went ahead and made one for you. This pattern lays out everything you need to complete this project at home. It lists tools, paints, and helpful tips and tricks in basically a 10-page packed PDF pattern say that 10 times fast. So I hope you find it helpful and fun. And if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. Okay, so jumping right in, we're gonna finish these petals with some of that coral blush paint. And then we get to start a whole new section. So this is that Deco Art Premium Paint thinned out with some pouring medium and you can see the consistency. It has a peak once the rod is pulled up, but it very soon uh, levels out. It's got a self-leveling quality to it because of the pouring medium. If this didn't have pouring medium, you would have peaks and that's no bueno. All right, so now I have the premium paint in a applicator bottle and I'm going to try and apply a drop shape using nothing, using just this one tool. So previously I had, I drop a big fat dot and then I extend it out with a second tool. This allows me to drop an extra fat dot and then use the tip as my tool to extend the paint. So this saves that whole second tool step and if you'll notice the paint is applied so nice big and plumpy. So if you're looking for a paint that's going to give you some dot height straight out of the bottle without needing to mix with any medium this Deco Art Premium Paint solves that problem. And I think it comes in just over 40 different colors and they're made to be mixed. So you can make any different color um, that you would like based on you know what colors you get. So get the primaries and just play around with it and see what you can come up with. So you may notice at this point in the painting, what I'm trying to do is lay down as many flat shapes as I can because I want that first layer to be the design layer and be a little bit flat and then put the puffy dots on top of, as, as top dots really, so that the, the puffiness doesn't happen until the end where all the details come in, but I just could not wait to use my applicator bottles with this paint and this is me just being impatient but it's so um, this is where I first got the realization that this paint was actually perfect for this use and it was glorious okay so now that all of those are done I'm just gonna add one bead of paint right down at the bottom or the edge of that petal shape. Okay, so now still using that pale gold, I'm going to add four little beads on all surrounding those yellow dots right in the center there. Now more yellow dots, 
I'm going to add two on either side just to fill out that space. So here is a very good place to add some swooshes right surrounding that big yellow dot. It fills that empty shape really well. And then using that same coral color, I'm just going to fill in the space right there and just do that all the way around. Okay, so moving on to the next petal section, we're going to make a huge drop shape and connect it with the drop shape that we did previously. So it has kind of a tail that connects the two. And we're going to place this shape in every other petal. So it adds a little bit of variation. So this paint that I'm using is the Americana um, liquid acrylic. So you see all those little indentions and kind of wave forms in those shapes. That'll all smooth out once this dries. Um, but if I use that soft body acrylic, it would dry just like that and be kind of uh, wavy and weird. So um, that's why liquid acrylic is good for these big shapes. Okay, so this is my very careful uh, use of my kitty compass. I'm doing every other petal and making a little concentric circle so that I have a space um, to fill that's a little bit smaller and easier to tackle. And it gives me a line where I can put my big blue dot. And um, yeah, and I'm gonna fill this space with all blue and white dots just as a contrast because I've been using mostly warm colors and yellows and this is where I'm going to add in my blue. It should make the center portion pop out a little bit more and have more contrast. So now using that liquid acrylic, I'm just going to use um, this half inch rod and make huge dots on every other petal all the way around in those little blue sections. Now we have this space to fill. It's like um, a diamond section. So this widest pointiest bit in the center here, we're going to add three swooshes to fill that space. And for these, you just load up your stylus tool, you hang out a little bit more right here at the start of the swoosh, and then you just drag it along the surface to extend out that little tail shape. Okay, so a dry fit, a size of a rod that will work, and I'm going to put two dots on either side of that big huge dot and fill that space. And nothing looks better surrounding a big huge dot than tiny, teeny tiny micro dots. And so I'm using my micro dot uh, pointed silicone tool to make a bunch of tiny dots surrounding the bottom. Just like that. Okay, so for the ends of these petal shapes, I'm going to do a little lacy edge. So that is going to consist of three little lines and then um, 
tiny little dots, walking the dots on either side of it, just kind of having a dainty little lace edge. Do people say dainty anymore? Or is this like a some Jane Austen thing that I picked up? Okay, now simply because I cannot wait any longer, I uh, decided to add some top dots to the inside and start to shape what's going on color-wise with the center portion. Usually I wait until the very end of a painting to add top dots, but in this case, I just can't wait. So that's what we're doing here. So now for these petals that are in between those blue um, petals that we just did, I'm going to work all with white. And the plan is to make uh, dots that are descending in size as they extend out towards the tips of those leaf shapes. And uh, we'll see where to go from there. Okay, so now we're grabbing the red premium paint in the applicator bottles and we're squeezing it on. Oh, is this fun? Wait till you see the close up shot. It's, uh, it's, I think I might like play it up with music or something. Maybe some sound effects or something, make it a little bit more dramatic. <laughs> No, it wasn't really like that. It was more, it was kind of like a little bit of this. Yeah, you know, it was like that, but it was also kind of like this. But mostly after two months of my life being spent trying to find the perfect paint for my applicator bottles, it felt like this. Oh, no, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, really. I appreciate it. If this is the first video that you've watched from my channel, just know that I do overuse and abuse sound effects all the time, unapologetically. That's, yeah, it's just gonna happen. Okay, so things are coming together, and now we have this space outside the lotus edge, so I'm gonna add two circles um, that extend out from the center. So going back to my rods, I'm going to add some of that magenta paint and we're going to add some top dots to those connecting drop shapes. Okay, so now we're going to connect those two fuchsia dots by using our stylus and connecting them with um, descending dot shapes right across that little bridge. All right, more big drops. And this is the yellow premium paint, but I added pouring medium to get it to actually work. So, um, like I said, liquid paint is better for rods, but I just didn't have this color in liquid, so I made it work with what I had. And as you can see, it still works. It flattens out really nicely. That pouring medium is, I use it for a lot of things. And uh, not pour paintings. Strangely enough, I haven't gotten into that yet. Have you guys done that? It looks fun. 
I, I haven't done that. I imagine it would be cool, maybe as a background, you know, I don't know. Now we're going to switch to that fuchsia and do the same thing on every other petal section. Okay, so now that we have a majority of our dots already laid out, now it's time to um, pull things together, see where things are going. And right now, do you see the blue sections and how they abruptly end? I wanted to make this big, huge blue dot, so it kind of pulled that blue out towards the edge a little bit more and made it blend a little bit better. And now I'm going to take these pink and yellow rays and extend it all the way out to the edge of the painting. Okay, so we're adding more drops on the edge and I bet you're thinking, Rachel, why didn't you just use the applicator bottles to make the drops? Don't you want these drops to be nice and, and plumpy too? And I do, but I want to add plumpy top dots. So I haven't done the thing where I added a plumpy dot and then a plumpy dot on top of that plumpy dot. So I have double plump. That kind of might not work. So I'm doing a flat drop on the bottom and then I'm going to come in with some plump on the top. And uh, I think that'll look a lot better. Thank you iMovie for making such sweet pre-installed free iMovie beats. So rad. So you know what that sound means, don't you? That means we're at the end of our video today. But I'm going to show you a sneak peek of the final video right now. So in the last video, we really get to have some fun. This is where we apply a bulk of the puff to our painting. I will show you various application methods. We're going to finish the ends. I will show you how to clean your dried up nozzle tips. Bless you. And then 90% through the painting I remember I have a Lazy Susan, which will make my next video so much better. And then we'll finish with a nice gloss glaze. So I hope to see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, do all the stuff. And I will see you next time for the final video. We're going to finish this thing. Thanks, guys. Thank you.